You have your five, you've got it from Procreate, and now you're in Procreate Dreams. And you want to make it bigger. You want to be able to make your group layer, like you would in Procreate, move around and do its thing. This is what you're going to do. You're going to come in here, you're going to open this top grouped layer. Now, once you do that, you're going to have a bunch of these extra frames. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to hit that little arrow in groups, right? This brings out each individual grouped layer that you had inside your animation. You're going to do the exact same thing and just drag it over. That's the little guy at the top. Again, you're going to go to those frames. There's no background. Oh, let's just drag this one over too. It's very intuitive when it comes to this. You can just go ahead and do that. And then, again, if you want to make it longer, same deal. You just make this longer and it just drags it over. Bloop, bloop, right? Now, not everything is scaled to the way that you want it. Now that you have everything laid out here, you notice there's a lot of white edges in here. That's a really, really simple fix. I'm just going to grab this whole grouped layer up top. I can close it or I can just tap this top layer, right? Because that includes everything. And I'm just going to go back over here and tap in this blank space. It's going to give you the option to expand this. Now, you can rotate this. You're going to be spending hours like I did trying to figure out how to do that. You're just going to tap that little corner. You see this little, this little lever thing here? Look, once you do that, you can move it. Oh, my God. I felt so stupid when I figured this out. Why didn't I do this before? Some of you might be, have been already intuitive. For me, it was not. When you want to move this guy, you say, oh, I want him to go from here to here, right? But you're not really sure how. There's two ways of doing this. One, you can bring it over here. You can hit this record button and you can just drag him over, right? And that's just gonna play him going back and forth, back and forth. And we forgot to drag this over. Right, you can do that on your own and you can go, eh, he's kind of moving very fast. Or you can do this manually if you so desire. You can come in here, hit this button and do your keyframes like you would normally. One keyframe there, expand this dude, right? Come to this other side, add another keyframe. You want him to be here. It's gonna auto tween for you. Boom, done, simple. And that is tweening in a nutshell and doing keyframes. Very easy, very simple, very quick. If you want to see more of these, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button in the bottom, and we'll see you next time.